Today we're going to take a look at Poplet. Poplet is a site that allows you or your students to create collaborative mind maps. I'll show you how it works. The first thing I want to do is I want to log into the Poplet website by clicking over here on login. That's after you would create an account. Once I'm logged into the account, what I'll do next is I want to click on Make New Poplet. So I'm going to click right over here, Make New Poplet. I'm going to give it a name. In this example over here, I'm going to call it Montreal. I'm going to pick a color, good, and click over here. Let's say I'm doing a mind map of things to do in Montreal. One of the first things I want to do is double click to create a poplet. Once I'm done creating my poplet, I can create more poplets by double clicking again on the screen. How about I divide this up into paid things and free things I can do in Montreal? If I'd like to change the color of the poplet, what I can do is click on the poplet, click on this little button over here, and change the color. Let's make my main idea in red. Let's make my subcategories in blue. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to link these poplets together to show the relationship between them. So I'm going to click on my main poplet and click on this little circle over here and drag it over to the other poplet. Good. Do the same thing over here. So after a while this is what I've come up with. Now so far in my poplet I've only done text bubbles or text poplets, but what's neat about poplet is you can also add in images or videos. So let's say walking along the main, one of my favorite places to eat is Schwartz's smoked meat. So instead of actually typing that out, let's have an image. I'm going to double click. I'm going to click on this button down here. And I'm going to choose this over here, which is from Flickr. And I'm going to put in what I want to look for. I click on search, and I'm going to take this image over here. I click and choose add to poplar. Now what I can do with this is I can move it around. I can make it a bit bigger if I want. Good. And I'm going to connect that up right over here. Great. On the other side over here, I thought it would be neat to have a video of the butterflies exhibit at the biodome. So again, I'm going to double click over here. I'm going to choose this button. I'm going to choose YouTube. And I've searched for Biodome Butterflies. If I want this video right over here, I click. And now I have a YouTube video. I'm going to link that up to the Butterflies exhibit. And if I click on play, The neat thing about Poplet is that more than one student can work on this mind map at the same time. If you have multiple computers in the classroom, multiple students could be adding Poplets simultaneously. In order to share a Poplet and make it collaborative, what you need to do is click on the Share button over here, click on Add Collaborator, and over here I have people that I've collaborated with in the past, but I'll show you how to find a person to collaborate with. The first thing they need to do is they need to create their own Poplet account. Once they've done that, I simply go over here. I'm going to type in the name of my colleague. There you go. I start typing Marc-André and I see right over here Marc-André Lalande. I click on him. I click on Add them. And as you can see over here, this Poplet is now shared with myself and Marc-André Lalande. Last but not least, if you want to share this poplet as a static JPEG or PDF, what you can do is click right over here, choose export, and in this case I'm going to do export as JPEG, and if I click that it will prompt me to download a JPEG. The disadvantage of doing it as a JPEG or a PDF is that people looking at that poplet will no longer be able to edit it. That being said, if they don't have a Poplet account and you just want to show an image of what you've worked on, it's a neat idea to share it as a PDF or a JPEG. So in conclusion, that's Poplet. I highly suggest you try it out. It really is an amazing resource. 